Hey guys, it's <coughs> excuse me, stuff in here. Um, just doing another let's play. Um, uh, actually, this is a unique one. I'm gonna try something new today. It's a let's play and re slash review of Casper for the SNES. Um, as it's already starting, we get an easy or hard selection. I spent about a minute and a half trying to get to the hard section, but I could not figure out because no button worked. To switch it to hard, not even select or start. Um, so, anyways, you're walking around the. the what, apparently, this is from the movie uh, back then. I think it was '95 or '96. But um, you're walk, you're with the, you're trying. To, apparently, you're trying to lead this girl <clears throat> down to the bottom of the house or something because she's stuck in the attic or something. You get no backstory. For, there is no story to this because you get no story there's no nothing tells you what to do nothing tells you why she's up there or what you're doing up there so anyways um i'm trying to figure out in the beginning here there's the picture of the house and stuff so you know where you are um every time there's an enemy on the screen she gets crouched down and so uh Stand, sits there <clears throat> and doesn't get up until you defeat the enemy it takes me a while to figure this out but you're supposed to turn into one of the objects and you can defeat it in this case a net of all things now in that form you cannot move out of the room which I felt was kind of stupid but um now these things here that I'm thinking you're supposed to catch with a net are actually part of your life uh, I guess life stuff. Um, I don't want, really know what they're actually called, but <clears throat> your uh, refills your life a little bit. And your name actually on the bottom screen there. Your name is your life. Um, we just picked up a pillow, which you're supposed to turn into the pillow and turn. Go down the bottom. She every time you go down a floor, she's gonna fall down, and you're supposed to catch her. I don't, <clears throat> and then set her on the ground. Again, I, don't, I haven't figured out what happens if you don't catch her, but I probably die or something. I don't know. Um, so there's these axes floating across the ceiling, and there's life up there at the same time. Um, you can't catch those for some odd reason. I don't think you're supposed to. Anyways, <clears throat> so here we go again with another room. They do this room by room. There's certain objects certain things in each room um so we do that and then uh, there's also these mirrors which i didn't figure out till later you can actually if you press uh try or not triangle wow i'm going systems ahead of myself uh if you press i think it was x or y in front of them you get transported to a different room in the house now here's one of casper's brothers um which i couldn't figure out what the heck to do because um, I tried turning into this new bottle thing that I just got, and I ended up dying because I touched him. Or, I guess you couldn't, I guess since Casper's already dead, uh, I don't know what to call it, really, since it can't be, you can't really die. Um, what do you call it, huh? Um, anyway, I guess, uh, maybe going to the other side or something, I don't know. So I, so I turned Casper into this thing and start shooting off stuff at I forgot the brother's name. Um, Fatso, I believe, because I haven't seen I haven't seen Casper in forever. Um, it's an alright movie, but um, I shoot stuff off him and nothing happens. Um, so I, you know, I'm thinking maybe there, maybe it, it, something does happen and I'm hitting him here and nothing really happens. Um, the so going back to the review part of this game while I'm doing this, um. It's, you know, it would have been really, really nice if they had a backstory to this, some kind of story at all. Um, like I said before, you know, you just get, you get the either, you either one of easy, easy or hard at the beginning, and then it doesn't, you know, <clears throat> then it just transports you to the room with the with the little girl. So, you know, if there was a backstory of some kind, you know, for people that may, maybe this is based off the movie of some sort in some way but uh 
You know, it, it's just, you, they don't give you any story how you're supposed to know what to do, you know? It's just, it's just a trial by fire kind of thing. Well, not by fire, but trial by error, maybe. Um, so, um, hmm. Uh, let's see, graphics. Graphics are good for, I mean, it's, it's an SNES game, so, um, yeah, that's how the teleporter works, by the way, and since there's an enemy on the screen, she automatically goes into a ducking position. Apparently, she can't get hurt, but you can. Um, so, that's also something to know. Um, so anyways, uh, going back to graphics real quick, there are, they're alright, they're, you know, not the best graphics. I mean, it, it's, yeah, it's SNES, but, <clears throat> you know, a bunch of good games for SNES had really good graphics and everything. Um, these aren't bad, these aren't great, you know, I maybe give an 8, maybe 7 out of 10. You know, I mean, you can tell those are chandelier, or not chandeliers, but candle holders. You can tell chair, table, you know, you can tell what it is. So, that's a good thing. Um, controls, jeez. Um, I'm not, I really gotta give a bad thing with the controls here because it, you know, not only does it, like I said before, it doesn't give you an... Not only does it not give you a backstory, it doesn't even give you an option screen. It tells you what the buttons do. Um, games like that I really don't... <coughs> excuse me. Don't like as much, but I'll play them anyways, I guess. <coughs> it just, you know, it would be nice if they had a option screen. Um, here I find out, yeah, that Casper can actually was if can go floors below but he can't do anything he just turns into his ghost uh invisible ghost form can't do anything while he's with the without the girl being present which i think is kind of a stupid thing because you know maybe there's some some way that you know maybe you need something to fight about a boss or something and it's a floor below and can't get it because you don't have the girl with you. Um, so, um, would I play this again after a day? Um, there's a hat, by the way. I don't know what the hat does. I think it's just a refill your health thing again. Cause we, you know, cause, um, <coughs> <coughs> oh, jeez. Uh, replay value with this? I don't know. I mean, you know, I, I don't really think it's a, I like the I like the movie, but the game not so much. It's you know it doesn't give you doesn't tell you what you're supposed to do. Doesn't give you any tell you about what button does what unless you have unless you buy the actual game, you know, and have the control and have the manual and all that stuff. But um, the you know, so, and then there's not really many things Casper can do other than go completely invisible, which makes things pass through him, um, turn into objects that he's collected, and, um, That's pretty much it. I mean, there's not. I mean, unless I mean, unless I go, you know, on YouTube or something, <clears throat> or somewhere, and find an actual gameplay video of this where you know somebody actually knows what the heck they're doing, um, then this will make sense to me. But overall, I mean, I'm yeah, I'm not really. See, I I couldn't even get it over get the con the controller to. I pressed every button on the controller, when the thing wouldn't move over to end game. So I don't know how that works either. And I tried every button, including start and select. So uh, overall, though, I'm just I'm gonna go ahead and give this a six out of ten at least, maybe a five. Well, a five if five between a five and a six. I really can't. You know, there's. It would be a lot. It would be a lot better if they had, like, like I said before, it'd be a hell of a lot better if they told you what was going on, 
and give you an option screen to tell you what the buttons do and you know look at other things like lives and uh, stuff like that difficulty level possibly and stuff um, so overall you know this is definitely a five or six I mean maybe you guys have think better of it but I I don't like this game as much I uh, points, you know, there's good things about it and there's bad things about it. And the, this time, the bad overlap the good. Um, so, this is Casper for the SNES, and I am Stefan, and I will see you guys later. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.